tonight on Big Brother. Josh, look at the screen. <laughs> you are looking at the newest Big Brother housemate. Josh gets an offer too good to refuse. Doth of the proverbial Big Brother. <laughs> this week's nominees are... Estelle, Ray and Angie. <gasps> and housemates behaving like animals. <laughs> in the wildlife documentary task. Gather at the base of the rock and bow graciously to the lion. <laughs> Let me talk to you in a minute, okay? <laughs> oh, okay. So. Not, not bad, no, good. So. Oh, okay. Oh, Just my feelings only. It's Angie's first time nominated, and it's brought her and fellow nominee Estelle closer together. Like some people acting weird this week that I was sort of like, mm. oh, that's weird. Yeah. So I'm not, yeah, hugely surprised. Ray's up for eviction for the second time in two weeks. Ray. Yes, big brother. As you're aware, housemates can nominate for tactical reasons. Do you think your fellow housemates may have nominated you for tactical reasons? Uh, I've had a few people in the house mention that they feel like I could be a threat. I think that my occupation does work against me in terms that other people might think that I'm a threat because I'm a vet and people generally on the outside world will warm up to vets and like them because we've got the best job in the world, we save animals every day. Whereas if I was a car salesperson or a lawyer, that would not work so much in my favour. It's a curse sometimes being smart and beautiful like yourself, so yeah. I hope that's the case. <laughs> Always got your back though. Holy moly. It's just a whirlwind, isn't it? Welcome to the roller coaster that's been my life for the last month. Yeah. <laughs> the girls don't know that only a wall away is another smart and beautiful woman who will soon be living with them. Thanks, big brother. <laughs> Intruder Ava is in the captain's quarters ready to be introduced to the house when Big Brother decides the time is right. Oh my goodness. always got morally I'm always like I'm yeah. always behind you so exactly and even if we're not here whatever yeah well we know what's in we'll here see. hopefully we'll both make it through to the top 10 eh <laughs> if you need hugs just come get me I've been through it <laughs> been there done that I've been there done that I'm a vet I'm a seasoned uh -huh. vet when it comes to this year uh. you're just a rookie <laughs> you're just a rookie taking the roller coaster ride bloody <laughs> hell what do you think about Angie being at Phenomens? Oh, I feel sorry for her. I don't want her to be angry all week or upset all week, you know? Yeah, it's hard to watch when you've got So people. hard. It's hard. Bradley's been up for eviction twice, but this week he's safe. Third time lucky. I think third time we've been not so charming for you. It wouldn't I think been. you would have felt horrible. Yeah, you'd have been like, oh, I just can't do anything. Like, I think people are starting to, to really get picky with their stuff and not just going the easy way out. Yeah. They're really beginning to like target mm. like specific things. Yeah. It's not just like... I think that's why you're safe this week because you haven't been... You, I think if you were picked, you would t I think you could be an easy pick for people yeah. to just go with something where they couldn't think of anything else. So yeah, but I think people have looked all... beyond easy this week and actually yeah. seen stuff to pick. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Oh, yeah. Fine, fine, fine. I'll get over it. Someone had to be nominated. Oh. Yeah, I don't think that you have much to worry about. Pardon? I don't think you have much to worry about. Oh, I don't know. I thought the same for Sarah. We'll see. I'll see you out there. 
I'm beginning to realise, conceit aside, um, that my personality or me, myself and I is someone who is quite different to the pack. Um, I'm a little bit of an outlier and so are those other people who are now nominated and uh, it tends to be a trend that those who are a little bit different, a little bit obscure, strange for whatever reason, are the ones who will be uh, picked out from the bunch. I don't fit in with the normal sort of norm pack. I'll walk alone rather than walk with them, so they're a bit scared of that maybe, or I don't know what it is. I just don't fit in. You make such strong bonds in this house and, you know, the thought of going home, of course, it scares the jeebies out of me and, of course, I do not want it to happen. But, yeah, the thought of leaving um, my newfound friends sends a little shiver up my spine, but like I said, it's, it's all part of it, isn't it? This is Big Brother. Oh, fair enough. Josh to the diary room. Yep. <laughs> really? Is this uh, the most appropriate there's a time? There's bottle of vodka oh, sitting there. <laughs> Josh. Hey, big brother. How are you this evening? I'm not too bad, thank you. Big brother has a job offer for you. Okay. As a man who has been on 100 dates, <laughs> you're the perfect man for the job. <laughs> Righto. Josh, look at the screen. Yeah. Oh, what? Josh, yes, you are looking brother. at the newest Big Brother housemate. Doth of the proverbial Big Brother. <laughs> you seem excited. <laughs> oh, sweet Lord. <laughs> what are you doing to us? What do you mean, Josh? <laughs> this is classic. This is so you. You would do this, wouldn't you? I love it. It's great. <laughs> Coming up, Josh's special intruder mission from Big Brother. She will be your 101st date. <laughs> and later, housemates gone wild. <laughs> Intruder Ava doesn't know it yet, but she's being set up for a date with serial dater Josh. Josh. Yes. Tonight, the newest Big Brother housemate will stay in the captain's quarters. Mm hmm. She will be your 101st date. <laughs> Big Brother would like you to meet her for lunch. Oh no. <laughs> Righto. Josh, you should bring her up to speed on all of your fellow housemates. Oh, everyone, all right. And all of the goings on in the Big Brother house. Classic. <laughs> Classic. At the end of the meal, Josh, your job will be to formally invite her to join you in the house as a Big Brother housemate. Okay. Josh, if you tell or intimate in any way anything about your job or the existence of the new housemate to anybody else, yep. Big Brother will evict you immediately. Ooh, yeah, okay. No worries. Do you accept your job? I accept the challenge and the job put forward towards me. Thank you very much, Big Brother. <laughs> Out of interest, what are your tips on being a great date? Oh, just plenty of conversation, big brother. Just um, keep it, 
keep it lively, keep it fun, keep it interesting, um, ask plenty of questions about the other person and, and listen to what they have to say. It's pretty simple. Do you predict this will be a great date? Oh, it's hard to say based on uh, first impressions. Um, it looks like she might be a bit of a tough nut to crack, so we'll see how we go. What makes you say that? Oh, I don't know. It looks as though she might have a bit of attitude, I think, big brother. Come back for seconds. Yeah. Come back for seconds. What did he say? Hey, oh, my mic pack was. Oh, so. my mic too. It's weird. Picture magazine sent a bowl. It's a jungle in the Big Brother backyard, which has been made over for this week's task. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the narrator. Oh my god. Oh, it sounds like a Roger Kipling novel. Yeah, storybook. You're all about to become animals starring in the Big Brother wildlife documentary. <laughs> <laughs> this week we shall observe you as you struggle to survive within the confines of the Big Brother house. Oh dear. <laughs> Don't know if I like that. <laughs> to pass this task. All housemates have to do is keep up with me, the narrator. Oh, that's good. Everything I say, housemates <laughs> must do. Oh. Now let's find out what animal each housemate is. Oh. As he opens the box, he discovers... land animal on the planet. <laughs> the elephant ranks among the world's most intelligent species. <laughs> yeah, we're laughing too. <laughs> the buffalo is widely regarded as one of the most dangerous animals in the Big Brother house. And they're the two most passive people in the house. <laughs> Baboons are generally <laughs> playful jokers. <laughs> the hyena is indeed a common dog-like carnivore. That's exactly right. Their skill at stalking in the darkness stirs unpredictable trouble for his chief competitor for power and supremacy. The lion. Ah, I'm coming to get you, Michael. Oh. 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 You're a joke of a mammal. <laughs> Watch I'm gonna eat as this food. hyena howls at the heavens. Imagine if the diary room just exploded. <laughs> Still to come. I know how to control my eating habits. Kitchen Wars. A lot of people don't.